guys, I see now meeting progress. We're discussing the case, the uh, big case we just got with the gambler. All right, so we're reviewing the returns. Okay. And on his federal return, he has reported almost $10 million of gambling winnings, but it was properly reported also as losses on Schedule A, so he has no issue on his federal. Okay. But he has, he's a New York resident, but he won actually in New Jersey. Okay. So he has to file a New Jersey non-resident and okay. New York resident. Okay. And that's the problem. So now how much he's going to owe to New York? New York, he owes the 876,000. How about okay. the New Jersey? 565,000. So the total owed from both states, $1,442,000. So guys, let's contact the client and see if he qualifies to be a professional gambler. In this case, he will be able to save the million and a half dollars. Okay. Instead of paying it to the IRS. Mm -hmm. we'll call. Now that we found out that the client did not qualify to be a professional gambler, we are thinking of different ways to try to resolve his tax issue. Guys, make sure if you are lucky enough to win, set some money aside to cover your taxes.